Hello, Stan from GPT for Sheets, and today I'm going to show you how to translate text uh, with specific instructions and um, specific a specific dictionary. I've already already uh, in a previous video talked about the GPT translate function, uh, which we have now improved because we have added uh, an instructions parameter, uh, which you can use to specify exactly how you want it to be uh, translated. Um, in the case where, for example, you want to give a specific voice, uh, you want to um, uh, you want ChatGPT to uh, translate some words in a particular way, um, or you can also use that in in languages that have um, uh, different ways to address uh, the second person um, for uh, uh, familiar or formal uh, tones. Uh, you can specify that as well. So in this case, what I'm going to show is a translation from English to Spanish. And uh, I want to, it's some arbitrary text here. Uh, and I want to translate some of the English words in a way that is really not um, literal Spanish translation. So uh, you'll see how it works. So the first thing uh, I want to be able to do is I want to specify the, the behavior. Uh, so I, I, I put a prompt here that says, I want you to act as an expert translator. You are given the following table of translations of English to Spanish terms that you must use every time you encounter one of the English terms from the table in the text of translates. And the table is here. As you can see, uh, it's disjointed. So I need to um, basically concatenate these two ranges together uh, into a prompt. So what I will do is I will use, um, and I will do it, I will do it, uh, actually, let's do it here. I will merge all of these cells and um, I will type, this will be the final prompt, okay. Uh, let me format it this way. So I'll use the GPT create prompt function for this, which is a free function. This one does not call OpenAI. And uh, basically how it works is you can just give it some uh, cells or ranges of cells and it will concatenate them. So here I put two, uh, so this one and this this whole table of translations, and the result will just be the concatenation. I will wrap it so that you can see. Okay, there we go. So I've got all my, uh, all my translations here, and now I can simply uh, so these are the final instructions. Let's put it this way, final instructions. Uh, and now here I can simply do GPT translate of this. So I'll show the parameters. Um, and then the target language is Spanish. The source language is English. It's better to specify source language, um, especially if you're not translating from English. Uh, the results will be better. And then the instructions. So the instructions are just above, right here. So I'll select this and there we go. Okay. So let's uh, let's try some of them. So for example, Apple. Let's see. Let me check Apple. So Apple appears here. It appears actually in the first uh, in the first line. So Apple has been translated to banano. Uh, it talks about an apple. Habla sobre un banano. Okay. Um, gold coin here. Gold coins. Uh, was translated to moneditas, las moneditas. So even though the translation here is from singular to plural, it actually uh, understood the instruction. Um, gemstone. So here we have gemstones, shiny gold and gemstones. Uh, brillantes y preciosísimas piedritas. So again, this works. Uh, great. Um, what else? So, ChatGPT. 
was actually translated to GPT. So as you can see, it, it worked pretty well. There is one place that did not, there's one translation that was not um, respected was magic. So here we've got magic that should be kept as magic in uh, Spanish. And in fact, here we see that it says Maria. So, uh, and Maria again here. So this one does not work, uh, did not work well. Uh, let's let's do more. So the thing is, once you've uh, created your instruction, you can simply fix it vertically, like that, by adding a dollar sign, and then you can drag it down. Okay. And this worked instantly because I've already, uh, uh, I've, I think I've already done it. So it it was faster this time. Um, but as you can see, so an apple in a cell seems like nonsense to me. Una banano en una celda me parece una tontería. Uh, so in this case, nonsense was not translated to rubbish. So this, it made a mistake. GPT made a mistake. But what you can see, what you can try is then you can try to use a better model. You can try to use GPT-4 if you have access to it. Um, so for that, you can specify the model parameter, so GPT-4. Here. and it should work it worked in my test before it okay un banano en una celda parece rubbish para mí so um, it did respect an instruction let's try it in this one see if magic stays magic gpt4 um, hopefully this doesn't time out gpt4 is very very slow so currently uh, it times out a lot in spreadsheets we will have a solution for this um, in a few weeks, but uh, for now, I discourage using it unless um, the task at hand is very short. It seems like it might time out. Let's wait a few more seconds. Okay, it timed out, so too bad. Uh, I'll try again when when we have our new backend, uh, but nonetheless, it here we see that um, the GPT-4 was an improvement over using GPT-3.5 Turbo, which is the normal chat GPT. Um, okay, also the last thing I wanted to, to show is, so let's say I delete all of this, here I remove uh, GPT-4, so we're back to it will translate this again and what you can do if you say that you wanted to translate the whole thing at once and get the whole results uh, some something that people have not uh, all understood is you do not necessarily need to go cell by cell when you uh, input uh, values in your prompts in GPT for sheets you can actually put multiple cells so here if I wanted to translate these four and get the result in one cell I could do it this way Instead of A15, I put A15 through A18 this way. Oops, I need to edit this, sorry. Okay, so let's choose this, A15 to A18. And we'll put everything in this cell. Few more seconds. There you go. Uh, of course, it did not translate it very well. As you can see, it did not respect the uh, apple to banana instruction in this case. So your mileage may vary. Um, it works. The 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 more specific the instructions and the more crazy the instructions, the, the, the more they will be applied to short text and for longer texts, uh, it won't be as, um, as powerful unless you're using GPT-4. But still, I mean, these instructions were quite, are quite weird to be honest. So uh, for some of them, uh, like, like this one or like, uh, like this one. So, um, Please, please try it out. Try out this technique. I think it's it's pretty good. Um, several users reached out to me on how to do that. I hope this helps. 
and I hope to make it better. So if you find some good um, some good instructions or some good way to make it uh, do exactly what you want, uh, thanks to the new GPT translate uh, instructions or arguments, uh, don't hesitate to share uh, so that everybody can benefit from it. Okay, thank you for watching. Um, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and see you next time. Bye-bye.